just yesterday, ChatGPT launched fine tuning for its GPT 3.5 Turbo model. Fine tuning this model will allow you to train ChatGPT to your own data and run it at any scale you would prefer. Now, what's amazing is that early tests have shown that the fine tuning GPT 3.5 Turbo model has been able to match or exceed GPT 4 in narrow tests. Now, throughout today's video, we'll be going more in depth to talk more about what this fine tuning process is about, the use cases, how to fine tune the 3.5 model, as well as the pricing structure. So if you want to get some knowledge on these topics, definitely stay tuned throughout the end of this video as we will go more in depth on each and every aspect. So with that thought, let's get right to it. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. As we talked about the start, GPT 3.5 has a new fine tuning method and it has brought a significant advancement to this GPT model as it's going to enable many of us to tailor the model's behavior to meet our specific needs. Now this development answers the call from the community as many of the community members that follow along with GPT models wanted this customization and now it will basically allow us to create unique experiences as well as applications by utilizing the GPT 3.5 Turbo model. So what are the fine tuning use cases? We have three structures of what the use cases are while you fine tune this model. You have the improved durability of reliable output formatting and the custom tone. Now, fine tuning basically introduces a range to use different types of cases that hold considerable potential. Now, one of the key applications is improving the stability, and this basically means that the model can be tailored to train upon different types of instructions that are more accurately like applicable to what you're trying to accomplish, which results in responses to being aligned with desired behaviors. Now, there is an example that you can give where businesses can fine tune the model to consistently respond briefly or to a certain language, which basically adds a layer of precision of what is happening with the interaction with the user and the model. Now, a practical scenario is where it involves ensuring that the model can consistently generate responses in a language such as French, and it can be prompted in that language, which enhances the user experience. The second use case is the reliable output formatting. Now, what they have stated is that with the fine tuning, it improves the model's ability to consistently format responses, which is a crucial aspect for applications demanding a specific response format, such as code completion or composing API calls. Now, this is really, really important for many businesses that want to empower the model to consistently produce well-structured and properly formatted outputs. So what this means is that you as a developer can basically use the model to understand and adhere specific formatting rules. And what it will basically ensure is that it will be able to integrate whatever the model is trying to output into their applications or their workflow fairly easily. And they said in the example that a developer can use the fine tuning to more reliably convert user prompts into high quality JSON snippets that can be used with their own systems. Now, this is just an example of what you can do, but this is a really key uh, feature that is outputted with this fine tuning use case of the GPT 3.5 model. If you guys would like to access our private Discord, I highly recommend that you check out the Patreon link in the description below so that you can access the latest AI news, partnerships, giveaways, as well as much more that is there in the Discord group. Now, if you guys haven't followed World of AI, please do so. Turn on notification bell and check out our previous tweets as we'll be giving you guys the latest AI news over here. And lastly, make sure you subscribe, turn on notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos as there's a lot of content that you'll definitely benefit from. So with that thought, let's get back into the video. Lastly, you have the custom tone use case. And what this means is that you're able to customize the tone of generated content. And it is another compelling use case as with the fine tuning process, it enables you to refine the qualitative aspects of the model's output, which can make it more aligning to a closely representation of 
your voice of what is being generated now they have basically pitched it to businesses and what they said is that the fine tuning process is a great way to hone the qualitative feel of the model output such as its tone so it better fits the voice of a business's brand so what this means is that a business can recognizably have a brand voice that can fine tuned for the that can be fine tuned for the model to be more consistent with their tone so what this basically means is that it could give a business a more distinct tone which can refine the process of ensuring what the generated content feels and how consistent it can stay with their identity and this is something that contributes to more for a business's brand identity or having a brand aligned user experience so this is something more for businesses but this is just a really good use case for people who are utilizing the gpt 3.5 model in their own workflow in their what business website or different web apps that they may have one thing i would really want to know is how they were able to increase the performance they were able to do this by fine-tuning the whole process which enabled businesses or users of the gpt 3.5 model to shorten their prompts and this is by ensuring similar performances now one thing i want to note is that this results to a faster api calling as well as a reduced operational cost of the model now this is something that they were able to do by reducing the prompt size up to 90% by fine tuning instructions into their models itself. So what this will basically allow is that it will expand the token limit up to 4000 tokens, which will basically facilitate more of a comprehensive and detailed interaction with the 3.5 model. Now, something cool that I want to note is that they are actually supporting for fine tuning with function calling as well as the GPT 3.5 Turbo 16k variant which will be coming in this fall later this fall so it just goes that they're continuously working and popping out different types of models to improve their ai and this is just one great thing about open ai i know a lot of people do not like their pricing structure but in terms of what they're doing by advancing the ai field is absolutely amazing so huge props to openai for basically continuously working towards improving their models moving forward i'm going to show how you can fine tune the 3.5 model with your own data briefly now i'll leave the links in the description below so you can access it fairly easy but first things first you need to prepare your own data set now it must contain a system message you must have the inputs from the user and the responses from the assistant now secondly what you want to do is after you have set the format you need to upload the files now this is by uploading the data set by making an api call to upload the files that you had just formatted recently now what you want to do in the next step is create a fine tuning job and this is to train the model with your data thoughts through the api that you had created and lastly you're able to use the fine tune model through the api now guys if you would like a step-by-step -step guide on showcasing how you can fine tune the 3.5 model i highly recommend you check out openai's blog post on fine tuning as they go more in depth to showcase how you can fine tune a certain model it gives you the requirements that you will need to fine tune gives you common use cases preparing the data set and it basically gives you a step-by-step -step guide on what you need to do to fine tune this 3.5 model and if you go down below it gives you a lot of faqs on what you need to do uh it gives answers basic questions as to what you can do with this fine tuning process as well as some questions that relate to this so if you want more information on this i'll leave this link in the description below so you can get a better idea how, as to how you can fine tune the model moving forward let's take a look at the pricing so over here you can see that the pricing structure for the fine tuning of the gpt 3.5 turbo model is divided into two main components you have the initial training cost and the usage cost now the usage costs have been breaking down even further with the input and the output now the training cost is associated with the initial training of the fine tuning model which is priced at 0.08 per thousand tokens and this covers the process of training the model using specific data to customize its behavior now secondly you have the usage input cost and this is where the input text to fine tune the model for generating responses has a usage cost of 0.012 per thousand tokens it's fairly cheap 
but this fee is incurred for the tokens in the input text that is provided for the model. And similarly, you have the output text, which costs 0.016 per 1000 tokens. And this is present in the model's generated output text. And this accounts for the length of the responses that the model is able to generate with the fine-tuned 3.5 turbo model i want to note one important thing and that is comparing the different models to the fine-tuned 3.5 turbo model we can see that the vanilla gpt 3.5 model has fairly cheaper pricing structures compared to the new fine-tuned model which is reaching close to gpt 4s pricing structure now one thing i also want to note is that the fine tuning of gpt 3.5 turbo model will result in additional training costs of an estimated 0.008 and this is per a thousand tokens obviously but it just goes to show that it's fairly expensive to use and have a fine tuned 3.5 turbo model in conclusion guys, the introduction of the fine tuning process of the GPT 3.5 model has definitely unlocked a lot of different possibilities to tailor your own model with your own data. So definitely keep an eye out for this and I, in my opinion, I wouldn't dive deep into fine tuning your own GPT 3.5 model with your own data right away as you would want to wait to see what other people are able to do and how they're able to build upon this by seeing if the results of this fine tuning process is even beneficial with the pricing structure that they have currently. So definitely keep an eye out for this on Twitter as well as our Discord to get a better idea. So with that thought guys, I hope you found this video to be informational and you got some sort of value out of it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Definitely check out the Patreon page if you would like to access our Discord. If you would like to get the latest AI news, definitely follow the world of AI. And lastly, make sure you subscribe, turn notification bell, and like this video so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And if you guys haven't seen our previous videos, definitely do so so you can stay up to date with the latest AI content. So with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out fellas.